Hey there, fellow sky enthusiasts, welcome back to Mystery with Moni. Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of celestial wonders. Look up at that mesmerizing sight. What you're witnessing is an annular solar eclipse, a truly magical and mysterious event that we're about to unravel together. So, grab your shades and join me as we explore the secrets of the cosmos. Let's get started. What is annular solar eclipse? An annular solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth while it is at its farthest point from earth. Because the moon is farther away from earth, it appears smaller than the sun and does not completely cover the sun. Instead, it leaves a bright ring of sun visible at the peak of the eclipse. This eclipse is often referred to as a ring of fire. Every year, once or twice, somewhere in the world, the sun briefly takes on the form of a blazing ring in the sky. This phenomenon is known as an annual solar eclipse. The upcoming eclipse on October 14, 2023, is classified as an annular solar eclipse and people will be able to see this spellbinding phenomenon in select regions of the United States, Mexico, and many countries in South and Central America. The annular solar eclipse will begin in the United States at 9.13 a.m. Pacific Time, 12.13 p.m. Eastern Time and pass from the Oregon coast to Texas Gulf Coast, appearing in Oregon, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Texas. The lunar shadow will also be visible in parts of California, Idaho, Colorado, and Arizona. The eclipse will end in the U.S. at 12.03 p.m. Central Time, 1.03 p.m. Eastern Time. But what exactly is an annular solar eclipse, and what causes the sun to create the striking visual effect of a ring of fire in the sky? What is the meaning of annular? The term annular originates from the Latin word annulus, which means a ring. The visibility of an annular eclipse varies depending on your location. To witness all stages of an annular eclipse, you must observe it from a position along the path of annularity, which refers to the areas on Earth where the moon will seem to move directly across the sun's center. Individuals located outside the path of annularity will only witness a partial solar eclipse. Live coverage. NASA TV and the Space Agency's website will be airing live coverage of the annular solar eclipse on October 14, from 11.30 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. Additionally, NASA's Facebook, X, and YouTube platforms broadcast a live stream. Solar eclipse stages, what one can expect. As the moon begins to pass in front of the sun, a partial eclipse begins. Gradually, the moon will block more of the sun, causing the sun to change into a crescent shape that eventually resembles a sea. Roughly 80 minutes after the onset of the partial eclipse, the moon will completely cross in front of the sun, creating a ring of sun behind it. This phase is known as annularity and can last anywhere in duration from 1 to 5 minutes, depending on the location. The moon will continue to travel across the sun after annularity for another 80 minutes or more, producing another partial eclipse. The moon's movement continues until it no longer covers the sun's surface, signifying the end of the eclipse. Safe viewing guidelines by NASA in its statement. NASA emphasized the importance of never looking directly at the sun during an annular eclipse without the use of proper eye protection, specifically designed for safe solar observation, as a ring of the sun remains visible throughout the event. NASA in its guidance said viewing any part of the sun through cameras, binoculars, or telescopes without the protection of a special solar filter securely affixed to the front of these optical instruments can lead to immediate eye damage. In its statement, NASA also emphasized that people intending to witness the October 14 eclipse must prioritize the use of eclipse glasses or solar filters as a critical safety measure. As the sun regains its full brilliance, we've come to the end of our journey through the annular solar eclipse. I hope you found this exploration of the celestial mysteries as fascinating as I did. Remember, the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered, so keep looking up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you never miss an episode of Mystery with Moni. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, stay curious.